Hola guys, it's Katie. Welcome back to Steal the Spotlight. I've been getting a few requests to do a New York Fashion Week themed video and originally I wanted to do a lookbook but I figured it would be best to leave that until the end of Fashion Month completely. That way I can choose the best of the best and recreate some looks but I thought it would still be kind of fun just to have a chat about some of the top trends and also some of my favorite runway shows from New York Fashion Week specifically. So I think we're just gonna get stuck straight into the trends that I noticed. And obviously the fashion industry is one that really does kind of respond to what's going on in the world around them, I suppose. And as a result, there were majority of shows really influenced by the political scene in America at the moment. There were definitely different takes on that, but one of the key ones would have to be the political slogan tees. These were seen on the runways, but also a lot of people wearing them front row too, mostly fashion bloggers, I would have to say and I am a huge fan of graphic tees never really been into the slogan tee per se but obviously they have a really cool message and it is gonna be something that is snapped up by the mass market high street sort of thing pretty much immediately <laughs> still kind of along those same lines a lot of designers were also seen referencing that Americana sort of style and Americana is such a broad theme that I feel like it can be interpreted in many different ways from different people and I think a good example of that is Raph Simmons at Kelvin Klein quoted Americana kind of lent more New York specifically whereas someone like Coach also had that more traditional recognizable Americana look. If you did want to pinpoint the trend a little bit more, I think you could probably go for like a modern cowgirl sort of aesthetic. Sounds kind of weird, but there were some pretty cool looks using it. Never in my life did I think I would see so many pantsuits in just one week. It literally felt like just about every designer did their own take on it. And if they didn't, they probably incorporated some sort of suiting separates. So this was a major, major trend. One that I'm not too sure how well it will translate into like the mass market, just because like me, for example, I love pantsuits, but where the hell would I ever wear one? So maybe not the most practical for everyone but definitely still a cool trend for what it represents it's very like strong independent but still sexy probably the most common color theme was burgundy I know kind of boring burgundy for fall kind of seems like the equivalent of florals for spring nothing groundbreaking but it just seems to be there every single year regardless one other color that popped up quite a bit might be gold, so we might see some of that as well. Another trend that is quite typical of the fall winter season is plaid, tartan, check, whatever you wanna call it, it often pops back up. I feel like it was really in full swing about four years ago, I wanna say, when the 90s revival really kicked off and everyone loved the little tartan mini skirts. This season, I think it went more in the direction of plaid trousers and also some tartan or check overcoats as well both of which looked fabulous i am all about that trouser life at the moment though i featured a pair in my most recent lookbook and i know i will be breaking them out once the weather starts to get cooler lastly is a trend that i'm not going to talk too much about because you've heard it all before it just keeps dragging itself from season to season and that is velvet i thought that it wouldn't be featured as prominently this season but they proved me wrong, it was still at a lot of shows. So if I could only pick one overall favorite from the entire week, I would probably have to go with Marc Jacobs. I'm usually kind of hot and cold with his collections because they do have a very definitive theme, which I don't always love. But this time around, it was very much up my alley. It was inspired by hip hop, specifically the Netflix documentary, Hip Hop Evolution. Plus he obviously is a New Yorker through and through. So he's seen hip hop in front of him like his entire life and just how much hip hop influences so many other elements outside of just music. So I think it was really cool to see the appreciation of that in his collection. One of my favorite designers is actually Adam Selman. I suppose he's still fairly new on the scene, but 
I always enjoy his collections. They aren't super, super wild and out there, but they still have an element of quirkiness where you can really see his eclectic inspirations, but they're still super wearable, exactly what you would think like the cool girl in New York would be wearing. This time around, one of his major inspirations was a book called American Denim. He is known to be a lover of denim, which is probably another reason why I have a soft spot for him. Proenza Schooler is another brand where I pretty much always enjoy their collections and it's kind of sad because this is actually their last showing at least for now in New York they're gonna be moving to Paris I believe so it was sad bittersweet sort of moment but of course as always they delivered a great collection their outerwear was bomb and also just really interesting use of lines and kind of unusual cutouts so kind of random for me, but this time around, I really enjoyed the coach collection. I'm definitely guilty of usually seeing them as just like that handbag designer brand, but they really did deliver. Like I mentioned earlier, they had that Americana sort of theme and I really liked that it had that free spirit sort of feel to it, which definitely was thanks to the use of prints and how the prints really did clash and also a really big fan of that color palette as well. I think the last collection I wanna talk about is Idan. I think that's how you pronounce it. Apologies if I've been butchering a bunch of names throughout this, but anyway, Idan, I loved the collection. I thought that it was really, really interesting, keeping in mind that they are a sustainable brand, which is awesome by the way, but often sustainable brands kind of lean towards that earthy nature inspired look which isn't really for everyone so i love that they really break that stereotype and still deliver really fun colorful playful and almost street inspired wear it's really really awesome to see and i hope that more sustainable brands can kind of take that approach in the future i think i have babbled on for long enough hopefully i didn't bore you to sleep but if you did enjoy these types of videos then give it a big thumbs up make sure you you are subscribed and turn notifications on because there are more fashion week related content coming very very soon but in the meantime i might catch you over on instagram at steal the spotlight or otherwise i'll just see you on sunday for another video Mwah.